Hi, good people. What's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'm doing a series of reviews. I'm doing a couple of women's perfumes and then one male, male fragrance. So in this episode, I'm going to do from Guillain uh, Insolence Parfum. Okay, this perfume here, and this is a miniature of 7.5 ml, uh, 0.25 fluid ounces. Uh, this is a nice little box. I'm not sure if this is discontinued or still in production, but uh, I'm just going to review it. I'll leave the link below. You can check out. So there's the Guillain logo and then this locket thingy. I always find it nice. Um, then the name, it's a purple box. It's sort of like a sunburst effect. And then inside they give you this nice little other box. Looks like a jewelry box. Okay, I love, I'm, you guys know I'm very weak for Guillain nowadays. I want to try and review as many as possible. So I don't care even if it's male or women perfume. Guillain is always surprising me with the quality uh, on most part. So this is the box. They again have the locket thing going. This is a solid box. And that's where the bottle stays, not here, because it might fall when I open it. So I took it out. There's a podium, and that's where the little bottle stays. And these bottles, I saw the pictures. I wanted to try at least one of them uh, just, uh, just to see the bottle. If it was a bigger bottle, it would be even nicer. But uh, check this out, how cute this is. These bottles, you must have seen this is shape of a rose or a flower or something like that. Uh, this is a miniature. There's the juice there. Uh, okay, 7.5 mil. It's kind of smaller bottle, but uh, you can still use it as a dab. Okay, and there's some uh, writings around the detailing and everything of the fragrance. And bottom, you still get a sticker. So this fragrance, Guillain logo, on the cap. So this one, I think you have to open it like this. Yeah, you have to twist and open. Okay, and this fragrance is very very strong and a bit <laughs> like uh, it has a mature heavy feel. Okay. Okay, sorry, got some on my nose. <laughs> okay, let me put a little bit dash on me. I think uh, to talk about it. Yeah, uh, just put just a tad bit because it's very strong. Just there's a stick in there, so as you can see, I can use it on my skin. So I think it's a dash. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's secure. So this perfume, what is this all about? This is kind of like a heavy floral fragrance. Once again, this is a very nice white floral. And the white floral, most probably the heart of the fragrance, main one is I saw African orange blossom. So I'm not sure about that particular variant, but orange blossom basically refers to neroli. Okay, and this is that powdery uh, white floral, neroli thick, neroli kind of a fragrance. But it opens up with this beautiful, I think, cherry or red berries. Either one, I forgot. Uh, I don't think it's cherry. I think it's red berries. That is very mouth watering. Okay, I really love that. It's very fruity it's strong it it comes at you you know like it's a very big berry note okay so if the red fruits if you like those sort of fruits like berries or cherries whatever is your case this fragrance will be very very nice opening to you the introduction will be very beautiful but it does not stay like a summer fruity it's more on i think mild cold weathers would be perfect or winters i think this is gonna be that kind of a scent perhaps there is vanilla musk and some other notes but I detect that yeah it's coming to me it's very strong it has this thick feeling you know so I really love this perfume and I really think this can be easily uh, unisex perfume as well if you do enjoy powdery fragrances it's just it's it's on a it's it's very heavenly kind of a fragrance very heavy kind of mature vibe but if you do enjoy neroli you'll enjoy this fragrance okay so I would suggest this uh, for gift you know like particular occasion could be Valentine's Day, wedding, uh, anniversary, or if you just want to give something to your wife or your mother, this is a perfume if you give it's a serious fragrance. It's not a casual fragrance. It's a serious fragrance. It can be a signature scent of someone and it's very high class, okay? So it absolutely uh, screams of sheer quality. So I think Guerlain, uh, I don't know if it's my weakness for Guerlain nowadays or what, but I'm finding Shalimar, a lot of these other fragrances very alluring, okay? They are like, really keeping me uh, interested right so this perfume it's a masterpiece to my nose okay and the fragrance is the performance it's really be small this 7.5 mil it can easily last you like months okay if you just use just tiny bit again on your pulse point or your under your ears or something this fragrance will last you a long time overall i'm giving a perfection 10 out of 10 insolence i think uh, perform by Gala. thanks for watching i'll see you soon take care bye bye